Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to give you an introduction to modulation inside Scalar 2. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So in, we are inside AUM. I've just created a new channel with Scalar 2. So we open it and maximize it as well. We access the modulation page, which is right here at the bottom right, and is the only one which I haven't covered so far. So let's click on it. As you can see, when you go straight into it for the first time, you see a C major um, scale selected at the top, and it also says that the selected scale is a major scale. Then you see as a modulation preset, it says secondary scale. If you click here, you have different type of preset, and we're going to go through them we are going to go through all of them and um, then you have the circle of faiths where you can select for example a destination and you can enable or disable the sound through this icon but also zooming in as well that circle of faiths which is really nice so let's start with uh, the uh, progression okay and in this case you don't have anything at the top and it says add chords to your progression or select a different modulation preset so let's go back to the main page we go on the scale, select the scale, like the C major scale, and um, drag and drop a chord, like in this case, the C major. Now, if we go back to the modulation page or screen, you can see that C major chord, which is selected at the top. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can select a different scale. So you can say that, that C major is part of a minor scale. So I'll leave to you to try that because it will give you different, uh, of course, uh, um, outcomes. So we have that progression modulation um, preset selected. Now we need to select the destination. So let's, uh, for example, select an A here. And in this case, it will say the destination scale is a major scale, which you can also change. And the chord which you want to modulate to is an A major. So you're going from a C major to an, an A, manager, a major. And it shows you here at the top uh, the path, the path to go to that uh, a major. So let's try. Really nice. And if you like that, select them, right? Like so. And also add that uh, A major at the end. And now you can play it. Great. What you can also say here is that it's giving you that progression of chords in that A major scale, okay, which you can also play. It is exactly the same progression that you have created here, but in that A major scale. Okay, let's stop the playing in AUM. Okay, let's um, clear the state again. And let's go back to the modulation page. And now let's uh, stick to that secondary scale as a preset. You can see that uh, we have a C major uh, scale selected. The reason for that is because if you go back to the main scale, sorry, to the main page and select scale, the default is a C major scale. Now let's stick to that C major scale. The secondary scale preset allows you to move from one scale to the other one. So let's say, for example, we want to go to D major. Now, what happens here is that it shows you the D major scale underneath with diatonic chords, as well as it's showing at the top the C major scale with the diatonic chords. If the two scales are close enough, it gives you also a suggestion in terms of modulation path, which you can use. Really nice. And then down here for every chord, it shows you the secondary dominant path. Uh, you can see for uh, every chord, your uh, secondary dominant and also the predominant. So, and you have arrows here to move to the next chord. And you're going to go back also to the previous one. So, another nice modulation preset really useful so now again let's um, uh, move to the next uh, uh, modulation preset we we'll stick to that C major scale and what you can see here is there are different uh, modes you have the major um, 
mode, the Dorian mode, the Perigian, etc., etc. And this uh, modulation preset allows you to borrow chords, um, which is really nice from other modes. So you can say, I get this image. Then I go into the Dorian mode. I borrow that chord. And then I borrow a chord from the Perigian mode. And so on and so forth. Here you can also choose to uh, change the chord style from triads to seventh, ninth, etc., etc. Okay, so another useful uh, modulation presets. Next, let's have a look at the medians mode. First thing to say is that you can group voicing, which is re really useful if you are indeed uh, using voicing. And as you can see, I still remember now the seventh, and that's because. Um, in the previous preset, we have left the chords to seven. So let's move those back to triads, okay? So medians is really nice. You select the chord, like so, and then it shows you what you can get from that chord going up a third major or a third minor and also going down a third major or a third minor, which is really, really nice. And in that way, again, you can create a very interesting uh, chord progression. So let's try. And from the E minor, we're going to C major. And then from the C major, we're going to, why not, to the A minor. Then we pick up uh, that F sharp major. Really nice. Let's try the chord progression we have created. Really nice, really nice. Okay, let's try the last modulation preset. So neo Romanian. So it's really, really interesting, this one. So again, we have that major scale selected and we have um, as option for voicing minimize movement or you can also avoid to use voicing and you can have only triads only. And then what you do, you click and drop one chord like this E minor here. And then it follows um, based on the harmony proximity, the um, neo -Riman Romanian algorithms or mode and it, and it represents the code which are closing in terms of harmonic pr proximity and the way to to show that is if you select that e minor and then you select all these codes here and move them down here okay go back to the main page and have a look at the notes for each chord as i move to a major there is only more movement from g to g sharp then the next one, there is only one movement to C3, and so on and so forth. And this allows you to create very interesting chord progression. Let me play it. Okay, really nice. Let's go back to the modulation page. And you can continue like so. You can draw another chord like so. Now, if you click on select, click here, that means that when you click up here, you can change it straight away without using drag in and drop. And then you go to the second row and it changes the next one and so on. Really nice, isn't it? And then of course you can clear here and the selection and then you have your suggest mode, which is still active. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully that is, um, um, a good enough introduction to the modulation uh, features inside the Scalar 2. And of course, I think I covered most of the functionality now of Scalar 2. I will create other tutorials which will be focused more on the musical aspects of Scalar 2. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.